Hi there, I'd like to tell you about the tool rsync. rsync is a really useful tool for copying data. rsync can be used to copy data locally, uh, so from one directory to another directory on the same machine. It can also be used to copy data from the local machine to a remote machine, or from a remote machine to the local machine. Uh, in order to do local to remote or remote to local, you can either use the rsync protocol or uh, rsync works over SSH, which is extremely handy. So that way if you have SSH access to a machine, you can copy files and directories to or from it using rsync. For the purpose of this demo, I've created some directories with some files in them. The directory is called my stuff with three files and three directories. Now, of course, rsync can handle much more than this, but this is just a simple example to show you how it works. I'm going to make a copy of, of my stuff. The copy is going to be called my stuff 2. Now, I'm going to explain the options I've used here. I've used the dash v option, uh, which is the verbosity option, or verbose. It will provide a list of the files that and directories that it's copied. Uh, I will also provide the dash a option, which is a uh, aggregation option. What this does is it tries to prefer preserve the uh, owner, group, permissions, timestamp, uh, and so forth of the files. So try to make it an exact copy if it can. Uh, as well, uh, it's also recursive, so you'll notice I'm just naming the top-level directory and not naming every file within the directory. So, the first thing I'm going to do, rather than hitting this command as is, I'm going to add a dash "-n", option to it. This is the dry run option, which is very helpful, so sometimes you want to know what is the command going to do, and, but don't actually do it. So if I hit "-n", you'll see a uh, dry run listed at the bottom. Um, it didn't actually make a copy, as we can see. So I, there's my stuff, but there's no my stuff to directory. Uh, this is very useful. I often use this to, to compare two, two different directories to make sure they are the same or what's different within them. Uh, this is very useful when doing development and other things. Now I'm going to remove the dash n, and you'll see that it'll make a copy. So if I do a listing now, I now have my stuff and my stuff too. And my stuff too is an exact copy of my stuff. Now sometimes the local to remote or remote to local, uh, the, the timestamp on the two machines does not align. Uh, rsync will use timestamps to compare the files and know whether to copy them by default. Um, when the, the timestamps don't align on two different machines, let's say for example they're not both using NTP or for whatever reason, um, you might want to add the checksum uh, option. So that's adding a C. Now this takes a little longer than the uh, rsync without the checksum option because it's going to checksum each file to see if it's different or not, but it's more accurate of course. Now you'll see the second time when I run rsync, rsync is smart and it notice, notices that it's already made a copy and those directories are exactly the same already, so it doesn't copy anything, any, anything th further. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a file, my stuff, and I'm going to call this, uh, put it in the first directory, file 4. Now what we should expect to see is that, is that rsync will be smart and notice that file 4 is the only file that it has not copied already and it will copy it over. Sure enough, that's exactly what it did, which is very handy and very useful. That means it minimizes the amount of data that it transfers. Now there's other uh, powerful options and features of rsync. Uh, I'm not going to show you them here today, today uh, just for the sake of time. Uh, we'll probably do subsequent demos to uh, show you some of the additional power with rsync. The last thing I will do is show you uh, a local to remote copy. So rsync, there's my A option and V option and C option. I want to copy the my stuff directory and I want to copy it. I'll just use localhost to uh, simulate a remote machine, although I can copy this to any machine that I have access to. And I can name the directory. Uh, the directory does not have to exist to begin with. rsync will create that, if it, create the directory if it needs to. And so when I hit enter, it's going to prompt me for my password. And when I hit enter, it will copy that over the network using rsync. So now I have uh, an exact copy called my stuff 3. We hope you enjoyed this demo. If you did find it at least somewhat useful, uh, check out our website at fosslc.org. That's fosslc.org. There you'll find a number of other demos and useful videos uh, relating to skills development with open source. Thank you.